Hey, my name is Daniel 6 and I'm currently driving my Smart 4.2 EV Cabriolet. It's one of the convertible electric smart cars. And I'm driving it in my current town of residence, Knoxville, Tennessee. I've been driving this car for about a year and a half now. We lease it from Mercedes-Benz of Knoxville. And I really had only had experience with internal combustion engine cars before, uh, before leasing this. I'd had a chance to test drive one of these before, as well as uh, just really briefly a, a Nissan Leaf and a Chevy Bolt. Um, but the price to lease this car was really too too good to pass up, and so we decided to switch. We switched from uh, an old 2006 Honda Accord sedan, and this car suits our needs as a commuter car way better than the other one did. The other one just, you know, it was too much of a car for what we needed, just as a commuter vehicle, and this one works so well for that. Uh, I would say the biggest misconception about electric vehicles is that they're underpowered. This is, you know, one of the smallest EVs that's available on the market, and I still feel like this is one of the most powerful, nimble, fast accelerating cars that I've ever driven. Now, it certainly isn't gonna be as powerful as say, you know, the Nissan Leaf or a Tesla or the Chevy, Chevy Bolt, but because it's such a small car, it accelerates incredibly quickly. I'm, I'm really happy with it. You know, in comparison to the way that a gas powered smart car feels, this thing feels much more capable of getting up to speed quickly and, and really just feels like one of the fastest cars I've ever had the chance to drive you know, in a long-term capacity. Um, I really do feel much safer getting up to speed on the highway and, and certainly just being able to navigate, um, you know, changing lanes within cities and, and when I'm traveling places. Uh, so I'd say, you know, that misconception that EVs are, are underpowered, well, this is probably the least powerful EV you can buy. And I still think that it's more powerful and more versatile in the way that you can drive it compared to an a convert, internal combustion engine vehicle. Uh, if you folks have any questions about electric vehicles and you know what they're like to drive you should check out the program drive electric tennessee it's one of tennessee's premier statewide electric vehicle adoption initiatives and they have information on their website about all the different cars that are available and what it's like to charge your cars i highly recommend checking it out you can go to driveelectrictn.org to learn more or you can email us if you in email info at driveelectrictn.org we'll get back to you very soon Thanks very much. You should check out an EV. They are not underpowered. They are the exact opposite. Thanks, folks.